Hi, I'm Matt from Automation Fixation. Today we'll be going through how to integrate a Ring doorbell with Home Assistant, how to add an automation, and how to save videos locally. If you haven't checked out my beginner's guide to Home Assistant, check it out as this video follows on from there. All right, let's get straight to it. First of all, navigate to Settings and Device and Services. Select Add Integration in the bottom right. Search for Ring and then select it. Enter in the associated account details, including two-factor authentication if this has been enabled. Select the area where the device is located and then finish. If you need to create an area, select Add New Area and then Add. The Ring integration is now visible in the integration screen. If you go to the overview screen, the Ring sensors and key values have been added as a new card. From here, you can see the sensors which show if a ding or motion is currently active and historical details on the last activity, ding or motion. Okay, now that we've integrated Home Assistant with the Ring platform, let's add an automation for when something occurs with the doorbell. Navigate to settings and then automations and scenes. Click create automation and then start with an empty automation. Let's call this automation front door light motion as I want to be able to turn on a switch when there is motion at the door. First, we need to set up a trigger to specify when the automation will start. Select trigger type state and then the entity. We're going to select the binary sensor front door motion. I'll leave the from and to blank so that it switches on when the motion sensor is flicked. Now we need to select an action. So select action type call surface and then switch turn on and then select the entity. In this case, I'm going to use the front door light switch. Once complete, save the automation. Let's return to the previous screen. Back in the overview screen, I've just triggered the motion. And as you can see, the switch turns on. If we look into the switch history, we can see that it was triggered by the automation that was just created. I've received a lot of requests on my older Ring video on how to save videos locally. You will need to have a Ring plan for this to work. To start, open up your configuration YAML file to add in the downloader module config. Paste the config seen on the screen and select an appropriate downloads folder. This is included in the link in the video description. Make sure you also create a downloads folder that matches the config or you will get an error when trying to download. Once complete, Go to Developer Tools and check that the configuration is fine, and then restart Home Assistant. Back now in Settings, select Devices and Services, and let's confirm the camera name so that we can use it in the next automation. Select the Entities tab and search for Camera, and there you'll find the Entity ID for the camera. Go back to Settings, select Automations and Scenes. Click Create Automation again, and then start with an empty automation. Let's name this automation Download Ring on Motion. The trigger again will be State and the Front Door Motion. Now scroll down to Actions. Generally there will be some time required before the video is ready on the Ring server, so I suggest adding a delay step. Add in Wait for Time to Pass and add in a 2 minute period and that should be sufficient. Now we need an additional action to download the file. Select Call Service and search for Downloader. Now click on the extra options to edit in YAML. Paste the code which you'll find in the description and adjust based on your camera name, which we confirmed previously. In my case, it is the camera.front underscore door. And then update the file name script based on your needs for the timestamp. Once you complete, save the automation and return to the previous screen. Let's trigger the automation to see if Home Assistant will download the video. Navigate to the Downloads folder using the Samba Share add-on and see if the video worked. This should show the last video recorded by the Ring. Okay, so now that the manual triggering worked, let's go back to the overview screen and trigger it with some actual motion at the door. Hopefully you can see that the motion is now triggered, as detected, and then turns to clear. Let's go check the automation to see if it was also triggered. 
Clicking through the history, we can see that it was triggered by the state of the front door motion automation. Now let's check if the file was generated. And that's a big thumbs up as this automation has worked. And there you have it. I hope you learned something today. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests for videos, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.